Crystal Clear Crew, welcome back to my channel, guys. It's a brand new day, which means I got a brand new vlog for y'all. If you're new to my channel, my name is Chris. I post videos every single day, so make sure you smash that subscribe button and join the crew. So, y'all probably wondering why I'm sitting on the floor. Well, if you guys didn't notice, I am sitting on the floor. The lighting is just like really good right here for some odd reason during this time, so I just decided to shoot a video on the floor. Y'all can call me crazy, it's all right, but. I'm comfortable where I'm at, so I'm just gonna shoot the video. So as you can tell by my title, today I decided to do like a little story time. I've never done this before. This is my very first story time. Um, I've had a couple people actually tell me that I should do story times, um, especially one of my good friends. Her name is Aishana. She's the one that actually really encouraged me to do this. So this one's for you, girl. But like I said, I've never done this before, so hopefully I don't bore you guys, but... I kind of just wanted to talk about a topic that I haven't really told anybody about. Like, I mean, that's the whole point about story times, right? It's to spill out all the juicy details about your sorry life that nobody knows about. No, nah, but really, my life isn't that, isn't that bad. Well, it kind of is, but let's not talk about that right now. Let's talk about my story that I'm about to share with you guys. So... So this is the time that I literally almost died, like literally. No, I didn't kill myself. No, I didn't try to kill myself. Well, maybe I kind of did. No, no, not really. You know what, this topic shouldn't even be like messed around with. Like, you, okay. First of all, you guys know how I am. I'm really funny. I'm very sarcastic. I kind of just make a joke out of everything just because that's the way I live my life because yo like life's too short. I'm not gonna sit here and sob and cry over my sad life. I'd rather just sit here and smile because crying and sobbing wastes a lot of energy and when I'm laughing and smiling it like literally gives me more energy so anything I talk about on my channel I always have something funny to say about it so I don't mean to offend anybody I don't mean to like judge anybody of what they're going through I'm not trying to make fun of you or anything but I mean this is my story so I think I'm allowed to like laugh about it I'm allowed to you know be sarcastic about it but if it offends any of you guys I do apologize but anyways I don't want to ramble on about like nonsense let's just get right into the video so this is like this one time that I almost literally like died it was I want to say four or five years ago what are we 2018 no it was like seven years six years ago probably so it was a time in my life where I was really down. I like literally hit rock bottom during that time and I was just very alone and during that time like I wasn't talking to my mom, my stepfather wasn't in my life, I didn't really talk to my siblings, I was going to school, I was working and that was pretty much it. But I was going through a tough time and I got in it with like the wrong crowd with the wrong people at the wrong time so basically what I did was I hit up a friend and I asked her I was like hey you know do you got some of that good stuff you know like that good stuff as in like weed and so I hit her up and I asked her you know if she had some she goes yeah my boyfriend has some like come through so I go through you know I come through whatever go through come through okay whatever I came over to you know I met them up and we went to go pick up so we went to go pick up everything was cool you know the guy drove it was my first time meeting her boyfriend and it was really chill like you know he was chill she was chill she was like a friend of mine and you know everything was cool so we head back to you know his place and we start you know we start smoking and I did smoke prior to that I think I smoked like a couple times and I don't know that one time I was just like I needed to like relax I needed to I don't know what I was thinking but I I just needed to like smoke for some some reason and so I went and I smoked and so we smoked and everything was cool and you know we're just talking about life you know that's you know how it is like if you if I have any weed smokers on my channel you guys know what I'm talking about we smoke and then we like talk about stuff and just a disclaimer guys I don't like really smoke anymore I mean I'm not gonna sit here and say I don't smoke at all because I've done it like I don't know probably like a couple months ago but I don't do it on the daily like I'll, I'll do it but I won't do it on the daily and 
if you guys are gonna sit here and judge me and you know comment down below and hate on me like hey like it is what it is this is my life i'm living it you guys should live yours but anyways i don't want to ramble again but anyways so you know so we smoked and we smoked and we were just chilling and he was like he asked me he's like hey like have you ever hit any dabs before and at first i was like what the hell like i don't know what the hell that is like i i don't know what it is he's like it's wax I think that's what he said it's wax i'm like no dude like i've never tried it before he goes dude like you want to try it and at that time i was like you know what like i was so depressed i was so down i was like you know what fuck it like yeah like what is it just give me some so we hit a couple dabs and at first everything was cool and then all of a sudden my, my body started to feel like really weird like i started getting like i started tingling um i started getting numb and then i started to hallucinate and so i asked my friend i was like hey do you have a bathroom and he, she was like, yeah, it's in the back. So I was like, I was trying to get up and get out, but I couldn't. Like, my whole body was just so heavy. Like, I, I just couldn't get up. And at that moment, I was freaking out. And I was looking at my phone. And, like, everything was just spinning around me. And I was looking at my phone. I remember looking at my phone. And I was trying to call 911 because I was freaking out. I thought, it's so weird that I was super high that day. But I still remember everything that happened. And so I remember getting my phone, trying to call, like dial 911. And when I call, it said like your call cannot be completed. It says you can't call this number right now. So I was freaking out. And at that moment, I thought that she was trying to kidnap me. I thought her and her boyfriend were trying to kidnap me. So I was hallucinating like really, really bad. And so I ended up taking off. I took my keys and I took off and I left. And so I got into my car and I literally, so this guy lives in this residential area. It's like a really long street. I want to say there's like about five or six stop signs. And then his house is all the way in the end. So for me to leave, I would have to drive past five or six stop signs till I get to a main street. And the main street is PCH. So I get in the car, I lock the doors and she's banging on the door. She's like, Crystal, like what's going on? Like you can't drive. And I just, I remember I just took off and I literally took off in that residential area, like, I don't know, 40 to 50 miles per hour. I did not stop at any stop sign. I literally slid through all of them. And I remember when I got to the end, when I saw PCH, I knew where PCH was at because I, there was a, a specific restaurant in the corner. Once I saw that, that restaurant, I literally just made like a quick turn, a quick right turn. And I still remember the screeching noise of my tires. I had my windows rolled down because I was super hot. And I just remember just doing a super quick turn, a right turn on PCH, and I was speeding. And thank God there was no cars at all. There was no cars passing by. And so I drove down PCH and I stopped. I literally stopped in the middle of the road at a red light at an intersection. This is one of the busiest intersections in that area. And it was like an intersection where you're getting onto an on-ramp for a freeway. And I remember rolling down the windows, I turned off my car, and I just started screaming, I need help, I need help. And all the cars around me, they got out, all the people got out. This lady, I remember this particular lady, I still remember her face, I just, I don't know her name. She literally came up to my car, and she was holding my hand, and I told her, I'm like, I need help, I don't know what's going on. And so she started asking me all these questions, like, what happened, you know, are you okay? I told her, you know, like, I went, and my friends, like, we were smoking, we were smoking weed. And then she's like, well, that, you know, I remember this particularly when she goes she goes well if it's your friends that let you smoke weed and drive then those maybe those aren't really your real friends and so at that moment i was like completely frozen i didn't know what the hell was going on thank god there was a hospital literally like two minutes down the street so i think her husband or some other guy called for an ambulance they came everybody around me was just trying to help me i was super cold um they were holding me the ambulance finally showed up the ambulance showed up and so i was in the back of a um what is it called i guess it's called an ambulance right yeah so i was in the back of my ambulance they were asking me they're asking me questions they're questioning me they're saying you know like what happened so i told them what happened and then i ended up in the hospital and then once i got into the hospital they gave me some i think it was some medication i don't know what it was they it knocked me out that's all i know i think it was ativan or something to because i was really scared i was freaking out but they gave me some ativan to like knock me out but as i was in the ambulance i had to call somebody and the only people that i knew and that I had my, their number uh, remem memorized was Rebecca's number and Rebecca's sister. So I called both of them. I was freaking out. Poor girls. They were in San Diego at the time. They were two hours away from where I was at. So they had to drive all the way back home. 
and they drove all the way back home from San Diego um, to take care of me and I was in the hospital for like a couple hours and when the doctor came in he you know he asked me some more questions he's like you know what happened they did a talk screen on me and they found out uh, that whatever I smoked had meth in it so it was laced with meth and it was just the craziest thing that has ever happened to me I've never shared this with anyone before this is like my first time sharing it with everybody like on a platform that millions of people can view I'm just very grateful that for one I didn't hurt anybody because in that situation you don't know what's going on like I said I was super high I had you know I was driving under the influence and I had no idea what was going on and for two I had strangers around me that were just helping me the cops were not contacted like god forbid if the cops were contacted I would have had a DUI right now that I would have been in jail I, I don't know what I would have been like because I it was it would have just been really bad you know the people that came to help with the ambulance they moved my car for me they parked it in a parking lot they kept the keys um and they were everybody around me was just like honestly like i really thank god for that because if it would if it didn't happen that way then i don't know where i'd be right now and i'm not sitting here trying to like promote like oh you should go smoke and like drive because no you shouldn't i made a big mistake and i've never done it ever again in my life like i don't think i ever will do it again but i've i've trust me that i've learned from it because that day was like the scariest day of my life i didn't think that it would turn out that way i thought it was just okay i'm just gonna go smoke some you know weed and then just chill but you know it turned out to be something else because it really got into my head and i was just like i get like i said at that moment i was super depressed but again like i really really like thank god and all the people around me that helped me that day because i don't know how it would have turned out like God forbid if I would have hit somebody or something because it was really late at night and like I said I remember just driving down the street and it just looked like it was going on forever and ever and ever because like I was just not myself and I, I mean I still talk about it you know to this day I still bring it up you know sometimes for Rebecca I'm like dude do you remember that one time that that happened like and I think I thank God every single day, you know, for giving me another chance at, you know, living because I could have killed myself. I could have killed somebody else I or I could have been in jail and whatnot, but I'm not. And I'm here today and I'm very grateful for that. And it was just a little story that, you know, nobody knew about except for a couple of people. But I wanted to share it with you guys because I don't know, maybe somebody is going through the or maybe somebody went through the same thing I did or maybe somebody is going through the same thing that I did and it's doing the same thing, you know, that I did. And maybe this video will like help you guys out um, after you guys watch it because I mean, at the end of the day, like it's not worth it. It's really not worth it. Like I understand that people, you know, go through struggles and people have you know there are times that where they're just super super down but trust me there are so many other things you can do um besides going to drink or going to smoke or you know getting into like just bad stuff like there's so many other things that you guys could do but yeah that's my story time for today let me know down below if you guys like um these type of videos because if you guys do then i'm gonna continue doing them i'll probably drop one like once a week um i just thought that you know i would do it this week i drop a video this week because i did promise Ashana that i was gonna do it so here girl this video is for you like i said earlier but i really did enjoy doing this um just so that you guys can get to know me a little bit better because i mean i know that i post like a lot of just like daily vlogs and like challenges and pranks but i feel like if i do more story times then you guys would actually get to know me as a person better and if you guys have any other like ideas like of different story times or any type of videos that you guys want to see just drop them down below and i mean i'll consider doing them for you so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys tomorrow peace Fuck with me and get some money and get some money. Yeah. Hey, fuck with me and get some money and get some money. Yeah.